Hey everyone, this is Peter247 from Project Ghost with another War Dragon's Diary. So, um, yesterday we covered a few things. I am just want to finally finish this shrine before my team starts to get upset with me. Um, I'm going to help push this um, to the next checkpoint so that the team won't get mad at me for not uh, participating and helping with that. So we'll take a team that I need to really practice on. I know I can do the wildfire and everything, but I'm getting kind of lazy and I want to get my points up. So I'm just going to keep doing megas. So I do know that I still need to practice with Icarus. So um, I can practice with them or I can use my other dragons, but might as well practice at the same time. So once I'm done this, I'll go on to finish the shrine. As you all know, yesterday, um, I did start using my Necrix. Um, I'm actually glad I got him and I think I'm actually going to start building him up to be in my roster with his, uh, spell that absorbs elemental attacks. I think, especially considering what most of the bases are nowadays, um, I think it will be a good addition to what I currently have. Um, I have been practicing a lot with Icarus, still got a lot, a long way to go uh, before I can fly him well. And as you see, I'm going to die here now, but hey. Um, sure, I just got to get 70%, so we'll see how we do. No issues here. I hope I killed that dark flag. Um, yeah, so I've been enjoying the PvP week, the bubbles. It's always nice to have. Um, I tend to get really busy outside of the game whenever PvP shields come up as I do um, do a lot of work for our alliance. But um, it's it's fun you know there's a lot in this game I usually like to be very involved and know what's happening um, everywhere but um, we have been talking to some teams we have had a couple join us uh, it's it's exciting times so I'm excited to see how things develop when bubbles drop but we'll see once they actually do drop um, Oh, we're so close. It's yet so far. 8,600. So I'll just do one more run on this. So it is... This PvP has been driving me mad. I honestly... It really irritates me. I did talk about it earlier on during the PvP that I don't like running the guardian non-stop every day uh, i wish they would at least make a button where we could pay some extra energy to automatically clear the guardian once it's there as um, we're getting less and less time we're busy enough during the week when we have atlas and now the pvps are getting to the point where we have to be in game almost all day so uh, in order to do well in this event you know, you've got to clear the Guardian all the time. So the more your team opens it, the more you're going to have to be in-game making those runs. Um, so that is one recommendation that I do have. If anyone from PG is watching, maybe add a raid button. I know that it's being brought up in the forums by many different people, but I think that would help relieve some of the stresses in pvp um, we talk about it all the time uh, we do need a break at times so there we go i'm just going to quickly swap to an ice dragon when you're doing these guardians it's very important 
uh, not the guardians, but the islands. It's very important that you swap in the element of the island that you're hitting. So right now we are targeting the ice island. So it's very important that, yeah, I cleared it with my Silvix, but I did swap in my Asuri so that I get the additional, you know, 25% boost on top of the points. So someone else is probably already flying this, but I'll just use my inner fire and on my super just to get us those points um, to get us to the checkpoint. It's very important that, you know, if you start it, you don't want to waste much energy. So having as many people on as possible and waving to each of the checkpoints is a common practice. Uh, whether you whether or not you are doing the supercharge or not I think I'm going to be rage boned there we go yeah so it's because of the nature of the event every time you're attacked by a team on the same island you will be brought back you'll be pulled back you'll be losing some of your uh, progression so it is an idea oh, yes i'm toast so um making sure that you are set up in a way that you can um, not lose progression so every time you hit a checkpoint they can't pull you back any further than that wow that really sucked So making sure you have as many people on as possible, whether they be Megas or something else, and making a push. Oh my. I didn't get 70%, but it's okay because it's only a wildfire. We will survive. And my, there you go, even better, invalid attack. So yeah, the team's going to get through these temple guard. So I'm going to go back to the shrine. We all know that I have a few of these harbinger left. Um, I did end up putting a rider onto my Necrix because I think I'm going to be adding him to my roster. Um, yesterday, our team did get to the eighth team prize and I'm kind of behind on my schedule. But today, after this video, I think I'm going to blitz and get as far into the points as possible. Um, and I'll make sure I get to that 409 uh, because I really want those sigils. I want to get, as always, I want to get as far through the Necrix line as possible. I am kind of liking him and his spell setup is really nice. So um, he has the elemental. Let's pull him up. So I don't have any of the runes or anything that go on him yet. But if you look at him, um, he's, got, he's really good at disabling. And this is one of his most important spells. The absorb damage from elemental tower attacks and convert a portion of it into health. And considering that most of the bases are consist of flax and lightning towers, uh, this is actually a really, really good thing. You have the cloak so you can blink. And you have the sand, so anything that's not elemental, you can freeze that way. So we're going to try. I'm going to try using my Necrix on these. Uh, the the two, of, two of the three Guardians that I do have coming up are going to be a little difficult with Necrix just because they are cannon. Um, and I think the other one is the Archer Towers um, heavy. And we all know how fast these things shoot it gets kind of ridiculous but we're gonna try it anyways now where is he there he is so i am going to turn on a cannon resist um, because i know that the cannon is the main attack tower of this and we're going to try to fly through it if it takes a couple tries hey that's okay life will go on and i'll freeze a tower and it's with hunters this is actually a really good idea you know um utilizing that sand to buy yourself time so that you can accumulate extra rage and um kind of slow things down for yourself um i don't have any runes on 
Necrix yet. I probably should have set him up, but I did put a rider and gear on him, so he is still pretty strong. Um, so he does have the resistance to everything here. Um, as you can see, really solid dragon. The rider makes a difference. Um, and the sand, once again, slowing down so I can get those back towers before they can reach me. So, let's see here. I'm going to freeze. And there you go. So, now that things are frozen, I'm going to let my rage charge up. I'm very close. All I need is 70%. I really don't care about anything past there. Um, there is no benefit. The flames I get from this run in the Guardians won't really affect anything. And um, the only possible thing I should maybe care about is the possible chests I can get from the monuments. But once again, I'm tired of running all these Guardian. I'm tired of running all these Shrine Guardian, um, the Temple Guardian, and it's just... A really boring event for me so I just want it to be over with so I'm just going to quickly fly through so I get my 800 points from there this is very important this is all free points so I know it's annoying and everything but for those of you or those of us who are grinding trying to get to the next tier of points you know I think it is important that you actually do them um, as you can see here these are archer heavies so I'm going to change this cannon resist to the archer resist we're going to fly again so freeze some of the towers by myself time as you can see i got hit by the rage but i'm going to freeze well they're all dying there we go archer kill this archer so as you can see i had this one at the front frozen so before i come in the range of the towers in the back I can actually go slowly and I can reach the towers in the back and kill them so they don't do damage to me. So it's all about setting yourself up um, for success. So going into the next one, I can also rotate this, make sure I'm getting the... There we go. I, you know, flying Necrix, I never got him when he first came out. I actually really regretted it at the time and I do know that I was not sure whether or not i was going to end up getting him uh, this go around but i am glad i did as you can see he has been a big help in making sure i can finish his shrine guardian 68 percent just a little more to go and then i'm done and i'll have the profile picture and i'll be able to move on so I can absorb the damage and um, make sure I don't get hurt by any of the elemental towers. Lightning are, have always been something that really, you know, clears out hunters. So his spells kind of, um, it's a similar to spell that of Icarus, but it's white. So it's even more convenient. Uh, you just have to be careful for, you know, the, the ice towers, the ice flax, because that'll kind of negate any rage that you have. Uh, fly the last one. I think this is fire turrets. Yep, fire turrets. So, same principle. I'm going to use Nightcrack. going to fly through this. I don't really need this extra one. I'm going to fly something, uh, freeze one of the towers to buy myself time. And now, as I'm moving slowly, I will freeze some of the back towers so I can continue to buy myself time. And before I go into the range of these other towers, I'm going to clear them out. So, as you can see, his spell set's pretty good. It's really easy uh, to fly. Uh, but once again, hunters are very weak uh, health-wise. So, it is always a good idea to uh, make sure you find ways that you can buy yourself some time. So, I'm freezing. I know that I don't have any rage runes on this dragon yet. So, I am letting it build up. Stop it at the front. Oh dear. I 
think I missed that one tower, but that's okay. I'll still get to 70%. Um, I still do need a lot of practice with a lot of these dragons. I have gotten a little lazy, a lot lazier definitely than I used to be. Yep, there's my 70%. I don't care that I'm dead. And I am done all the Guardian. So once you've done the Guardian, sometimes or most of the time you do have to reboot your game uh, before the actual new avatar appears in your collection. But um, I'm not going to do that now. I'll do that after. Um, and I've liked my current profile picture since it came out in 2016. I'm gonna wait an hour so I'm gonna take a break before I fly these uh, let's see where we are um, what I can open um, I am there you go I have 8,000 I can op open up more draconic chests we actually had someone in our team line chat um, who decided it would be a great idea to post his luck with the draconic chests as you can see, I have had really bad luck when it comes to inner fires. So I did open this. Once again, no inner fires. Sucks to be me. Um, but I did get some sigils so I can use those. Uh, but this player is actually the leader of our team. Uh, he opened 30 draconic chests and got the inner fires every single pull. And it was very frustrating because as you all know, I opened like literally 100 of these draconic chests and i got close to nothing and it was very frustrating so i'm happy with the necrix hopefully i can get a bit further uh, looking at the costs of the the sigil cost of these it, i'm not going to finish it uh, but as we all know i'm not paying into it so um, I will, after I'm done this video, I will open up all my brawn chests. I've got close to a thousand and I will push for the 409 prize, uh, which will give me a total of 21, 31, 4,300 sigils more, plus what I get in the bronze chests. So it will give me a head start. And then tomorrow I'll also open up more draconic chests because I'll have uh, the rubies to do so. So it's all about planning um, with the progression. Um, I, I've gotten a mythic every season. Um, I used to spend in the game and get both, but um, until certain issues are fixed, um, I haven't been spending. So yeah, my progression hurts a tiny bit, but I'm usually good with planning and making sure I progress fine anyways. So um, thank you for watching. If you have any questions or topics that you'd like me to cover in a future vlog, just, you know, post it in the comments and I'll be sure to bring it up in a future vlog. And um, I hope everyone enjoys the last of the last of the weekend. Don't forget to hit the like button. Don't forget to hit subscribe and I'll talk to you all tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.